Good morning, brothers and sisters. Blessings and peace to you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yahusha HaMashiach, all glory and honor and praise to him. We bless his holy name today. Hallelujah. Uh, today is Monday, April 3rd, 2023 at 11.42 a.m. And I have another message from the word of God for you guys. We got to get that daily, that daily food. That daily bread every single day, that word, that word of God is what strengthens us and carries us, builds us up. So we can be used for the kingdom to reach the lost, to reach people who are blind, who are living in the world of deception, the matrix of the deception of the enemy. Believing that this is the only way is through the world, the worldly ways. But we all know that's false and that's a deception from the enemy to take us up, separate us from the, from the truth of the message of the word of God and away from our true purpose to serve our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Most High God, Yahuwah, Yahweh. Uh, they don't want to create. God is the one who created us. He's the one who, who, who made us in his image. And he sent his son to save us and redeem us because we are his we are his greatest creation. And he did not intend for us to perish, but he wanted us to have everlasting life and have continual union with him from the broken union that was from Adam and Eve's just, um, when they fell, when they were when they fell into sin, and that spiritual death came upon them. God wanted to restore that. The most high wanted to restore that. So he said Jesus Christ came down, perfect sacrifice, perfect lamb as a servant, put all the sins of the world on his back, carried it to the cross, endured all things until death, died on the cross, <clears throat> took the keys from death from Hades, conquered death, conquered sin, conquered the grave, rose again in three days was seen by many people over 500 eyewitnesses showed people the true way of life showed that he was God made manifest through the flesh everything he said came to pass and everything that is in the word of God will come to pass in the future as well if it hasn't happened yet it will come to pass Jesus Christ is the only way. There is no other way to salvation other than through him. <clears throat> his word never changes. It never gets refuted. It's never, uh, it's never in error. People try to twist the word of God. Try to translate it and, and make it into something that they want it to be. That is contrary to what the most high intended it to be but we all know that the word of God is true and every man is a lie you could try to twist scriptures you could try to make it seem like it was it's it's wrong or it's not right to do it or oh you can't you, you you're not free you're true free when you obey the word of God you're true freedom when you trust and abide in his word because his word never lies his word never takes you and, and turns it and twist you and, and take you down it's not about building yourself up, and that's pride. It's about denying yourself, living in a purpose, because remember, the Most High knows what's best for us. The Word of God is here for us, for protection, for instruction, for correction, for rebuke, for strengthening, for encouraging, for building up, for comforting in all circumstances. The word of God is true for us. It is our life force for us to be able to live here and to have eternal life as well through our Lord Jesus Christ, Yahusha. So I want to go over scripture here. Uh, this is in Mark eleven seventeen, And it says, then he, Jesus Christ, Yahusha, he taught the people and said, the scriptures say my house should be called a place of worship for all nations but you have made it a place where robbers hide. So there were money changers uh, in the house, in the house of God. People doing illegal, doing uh, scandalous activities, you know, taking the animal sacrifices that were dedicated to the temple and, you know, trading them and 
uh, doing all kinds of shady deals in the church. So Jesus was upset in the temple. Jesus was upset, so he started flipping tables. But he did it in righteous judgment because he was defending his father's house and he always remembered the scriptures. He knew what his purpose was today was to fulfill his, the, the mission that he that he was sent for and that was stand for truth, righteousness and die for the sakes of our sins. But at the same time, you see that the people were in error here. He said, you guys don't do this. We don't we don't bring money and, 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 and do little deals and trades and, and scam and hustle in the church house you don't use the church for that you don't use the, the house of god for that this is a house of prayer worship honoring the lord most high not to play games not to scam people out of money and use religion as a tool to try to 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 get money out of people to benefit yourself this is not what we do don't get it twisted jesus christ may have had love he had he had love for everything but even even then when he flipped the tables he did it in love because he didn't want people to perish he's trying he was telling people the truth he was telling to people the truth don't do that don't use my father's house as a as a den of robbers that's not what the house of god is for we're not here trying to scam to get money to get rich the goal of life is to be set apart to be holy to live according to the will of god not to gain the world and lose your soul and, and, and be successful that's not the total goal in life the goal in life is not even to be the goal of life is to obey the word of God obey his commands and to honor the Lord God worship him praise him and give him all glory and praise seek the kingdom of God first and everything else will be brought to you seek his kingdom and do his will and obey him not to gain the world not to to um, advance and get money especially if you're doing it in a dishonest way which these these people were in this verse were being dishonest there were there were being money changes there were scamming they were hustling in the church in the temple they were hustling and the most high jesus christ doesn't approve of that at all so when you see people do this, it makes you think, see people being financially taken advantage of people, you know, uh, you know, taking the things that are of God's and using it, you know, for their own benefit is, 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 is really, really dishonorable to the most high God. And we need to understand that in anything that we do. When it comes to the house of God, we need to honor the house of God. We need to not be as if the world does what the world does in their in their places of what they do and, and the things. Things like that should not be put in the house of God. The house of God is a, a place of prayer and worship, and we should honor the place, honor the, the, the temple that we serve in with that respect and not trying to have individuals who are ministers or anyone in the house of God trying to put a stumbling block in somebody's face and allowing them allowing them to be manipulated or for them to be tricked to do things that are not biblical according to the word of God we're not supposed to use the church house or the temple of God as a house to gain money or to benefit Solely, if people, uh, if the ministers are taken care of, then they are taken care of. That's fine. But but me, I believe, as a minister, as a man of God, uh, you should work. You know, you should have a job, or or some type of, uh, you know, avenue that you're doing other than trying to benefit from the church, because you should not be trying to make your living off the church. You know, that's not what the apostles did. They didn't do this to try to make money off the church. Jesus Christ didn't say, go out and have a church and you can get paid off of it. No, he didn't say that. You know, if somebody blesses you with, with funds, if people of God, the members or the uh, brothers and sisters in the fellowship, if they desire to to help, yeah, they can help. But the, but the funds and everything that goes to the church, everything should be dedicated for the church so they can take care of the community you know, make sure they take the maintenance and support the uh, the 
the sanctuary, the house of God, and make sure everything is taken care of in that base. The bills are paid and everything like that. And then use the funds to help the people. That's what it should be doing. Use the funds to help the people. You know. And my church, you know, I have my church, Crossover Church, we do that. You know, we don't take the money and try to make the pastors rich or anything like that. We use whatever we get. Everything is accounted for. We have a, a outside auditor who, who monitors our church and make sure everything is ordered just so there's no shady things going on. They don't have to do that, but they want to be transparent and show the people. People can actually read the reports and get a, um, you know, a spreadsheet of that so they can have for their records just to see where all the funds are going to the church and they're not used to be, you know, to, you know, benefit the pastors and make them be rich or have these planes and jets and all. And I'm not saying any of that stuff is wrong. But, I mean, if you're a real servant of the, of the Lord Jesus Christ, do you really need to have those very, very expensive things or the, the things that are just like, you know, you can use the money for something else to help the people in the community, people that are struggling, people that are hungry, people that are starving. We got to think about that, man. You got to take what you give from the Lord God and give back to the people. Let the people have 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 something you know, give them something, support them, take what God has blessed you with and give it to the poor so they can have what they need, especially the people who are are hungry and, and starving and homeless and things like that. Use the funds to support people because Jesus said, you know, he said, you would always have the poor with me, but you would not have me with me. But so that's why when we get something, we, we always give back. Love your neighbor as yourself. Take care of your brothers and sisters. Do not use the house of God, the place of worship, for for to be a den of robbers to hide and, and scamming and, and trying to get over taking people's last and hustling people out of money by telling them lies using biblical and twisting scripture. But stand on the truth for the word of God and letting the, the Holy Spirit guide you in truth and preach the true word of God. Follow Jesus Christ. Don't follow the ways of the world or the ways of these these ministers that are not following the gospel are not staying committed to the word of God. But you stand on the word of God. You stand at you. If you read the Bible, the Holy Scriptures, and study for yourself, show yourself approved, and let the Most High reveal things to you so you can see the lies that are in this world and the deception that's in this world as well. So you don't be bamboozled by people just saying whatever to try to get your money or to make you feel guilty for something or make you feel that you're not doing what you need to do or you're not you're not good enough or or you're not living according to what God has uh, called you to be because every everybody has their own walk and we all have a given account for what we've done with our lives when we go ahead and meet the most high when we meet Jesus Christ in judgment so we need to stand on our word stand in truth don't let the house be a house of robbers our house of thieves. Jesus Christ had righteous judgment because he was standing up for his father's house. You know, there's other, there's two other scriptures as well um, in this as well. There's uh, Isaiah 56, 7, and it says, These I will bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings, their sacrifice will be accepted on my altar, for my house will be called a house of prayer for all peoples. Then Jeremiah 7, 11 says, As this house which is called by my name, become a den of robbers in your eyes. Behold, I myself have seen it, declares the Lord. Jesus Christ used these two scriptures, revert to the Old Testament, and let the people know you guys can't do this. Have you known and known that this house should be a house of prayer and a house of worship, not a house of, of robbers and getting money? You know, this was clearly uh, presented in the Old Testament, and Jesus Christ stood firm with it in, in, in his day as well. And we need to apply that to our lives right now and stand firm and strong through the word of God. Hallelujah. All glory to our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to Yahuwah. Hallelujah. So I'm just going to leave that with you guys. I pray that this blesses you. I pray that you guys are strong. Let the word of God guide you in all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Do not be swayed by the things of this world. Stay firm. Pray. 
fast, stay committed to the Lord Jesus Christ and love your neighbor as yourself. Love the Most High with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love Jesus with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. Live peaceable with people, standing on the word of truth, not compromising. And lead people by example through your life, not by your words. Let your life be the example. If you're going to speak something, live it out. Don't speak something and don't live it out. Myself included. We all have to give an account in the end of days. When the, when the time when we time to meet uh, Jesus Christ in judgment, we all have to give an account to everything that we said, everything that we've done on this earth. And we want to be right. We want to stand in front of him. That's why we must be led by the Holy Ghost to guide us in all spirit and truth. Love you guys. Blessings and peace to you. Have a great day. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yahushua Mashiach. Amen.